Hello friends, foes, other watchers on the internet. My name is Matt, you're watching Hogwash Gaming, and today we're going to be creating a character for the RPG Mothership. And we're going to be working on an android today. And uh, the first thing that I want to say about Mothership is it's a great game. You're not making heroes, you're, make, you're making victims. And uh, these victims will be struggling to survive, and that's the fun of the game. Not being superheroes, like succeeding at everything, but seeing if you actually make it. That's, that's the fun of this game. So where do we get started? Well, what's really nice about this system is the fact that the character sheet actually has a walkthrough on how to go about creating a character. Uh, there's a slight hiccup in this format though. Um, typically what you would do is you'd print this out and then fill it out with a pencil. Uh, seeing as this is a much easier way for you to see what's going on, uh, I like to keep it on the computer. Uh, but this PDF does not have, oh, come on, uh, does not have built-in boxes for you to fill. And I don't have the funds to make PDFs where you can edit them so you can make make your little boxes for them. However, there is this little tool here that allows you to input text, so we're gonna use that. So, without for any further ado, let's uh, get on with it. Let's go and make us a character. Now, the first thing that we'll read over here is roll 6d10 for each of the stats. All right, so, um, this is our strength stat, so we're going to roll six d10s and d10s are the ones that look like this kind of like a well it goes up to 10. so we need six of them yes one two three four five and six all right so i'll put the rest over here and the average of this is around 32. that's what i've read in the player's handbook which we will need later um, if you want a copy of this PDF or a PDF of mothership um, it's pay what you want right at the time of this recording and uh, yeah it's it's worth looking into so let's let's get the first roll out roll out all right so we have 2 11 15 oh 20 4, 31, 35. All right. So 35 here. Cool. And now we'll roll again for speed. And these will change a little bit depending on what we're getting, which is an Android. We'll get there. All right. So what do we have here? We have five, eight. This isn't looking too great. Eight. Uh, we got two nines, so that's 18, plus 8 is 26. Oh, and there's a 10. 36. Not bad. 36. Cool. All right, let's go with intellect. Hopefully this is high because we are an android and that would be useful. Um, not seeing a lot of high ones here. Got two fours and a two, that's 10. 5, 15, and so this is 24. Not great at all. But that's that's the nature of this game. It'll be updated. All right, next up. What do we got for combat? 7, 7, 14, plus 3 is 17, plus 3 is 20, um, plus 5 and 4, that's 29. Not bad. Not good, but not bad. All right, so here we go. We've got, um, we've got these. So now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the max health. Uh, that's 35 times 2. So 35 times 2 is 70. Um, the strength and speed, this is, this is good. This is good. Um, and uh, next we're going to... Uh, Dole out the stress. It starts at two. I don't know if this is the minimum. Not sure. 
uh, resolve starts at zero, um, so we won't touch that. So we're going to, uh, let's see, can I do this? Boom. Oh yeah, nice. Cool, so Android is our thing. We're gonna just fill in these. Um, they're already kind of highlighted, but filling them in means that when you glance at it, you know exactly which one is yours. All right, and 25. Cool. So those are the saves for it. Uh, okay, and now we go down here and it's plus five to intellect and speed. So speed will actually go up to 41, which is great. And then intellect will go up to 29, which is great. Cool. So yeah, our, our lowest are intellect and combat, which is fine. I, I got a little messed up there. Interesting. I don't know what caused that, but anyway. All right, so we've picked a class and we've noted our starting saves. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Um, and then we will go, so that's two. And then three is up here. Mark your starting skills and sp spend skill points. All right, so we're gonna grab this. Um, we are an Android. Cool. So we have computers, mathematics, and linguistics. Computers. Let's see if I can get this square in there. Nope, okay, well, that was pretty good. Mathematics. These aren't alphabetized. Mathematics and linguistics. Cool. And then we have two points to spend. And how this works is you can't take um, one of these unless you have one, at least one prerequisite. So we have computers, which allows us to go to engineering or to hacking. Um, we have mathematics, which goes to physics. Um, the thing is, for each row, it costs an extra skill point, and we only have two. So we could go here, and it would be we could choose one of these that we have a prereq for, or we could choose two of these, which are two, or which are, which each equal one skill point. So we could choose two of these or one of these if we have a prereq, but we don't need a prereq for any of these. So um, I think I'm gonna go with hacking, um, especially because our intellect isn't super high, um, and having intellect with a boost in hacking so we only have a 29, but with the hacking skill, any hacking that we do has a plus 15 to it. So that would be, uh, let me see, it would be 44, which is good for a number of reasons. Um, for criticals, it's, it's really good if you can get that double number within your range of ability. Um, but. Yeah, uh, a lot of that I will explain later if you want to see how to play this game. I can make a video on how the mechanics of this game works uh, because basically the, the instructions are technically free online. Um, you can pay what you want. I bought the physical copy so, so I had something to hold. That's $15. It's not much. The, the people who write this stuff are really generous and really really just good about this is yours now you bought it kind of thing so um i, w I would really like to share how to play this game because it's it's really good and really cheap all right um so we, we've done all of this all of the things with the the skills so far. This is a level zero character, so they don't have any like boosts yet, but we'll we'll get there. All right. So now we've finished three. So let's go to four. Take note on how your class deals with stress and panic. We're an android, so um, fear saves made in the presence of androids have disadvantage. 
Um, so basically, the Android is a bit of a liability as it stands right now. That's just how it is. Um, but it's good. It's good. All right. So that's that's an easy one. And then five. Pick a starting loadout and roll a random trinket and patch. All right. So first off, let's let's take a look at these loadouts. Um, we have exploration, which has a rigging gun, flare gun. Okay. So this is like kind of like going through like a jungle or something. That would be good. Extermination is mostly like weapon stuff and just combat ability. Um, our character isn't really built for combat as we can see right now, but that's okay. We, we do have strength and speed, so we would have some advantage in combat as a whole, but as far as shooting things, not, not so much. Excavation is kind of like going through like um, going through the wreckage of stuff. Or we could do examination, um, which is kind of your medic and um, kind of looking at aliens and such, which could be good too. Uh, in this case, I'm trying to build kind of more of a computer slicer kind of character. And none of these are really working for me. So I'm going to go into the book and take a double look at uh, how much starting credits we get if we um, start without a loadout. So hold on just a second. Okay, so I've looked it up and what it says here is if I don't want to start with one of these four, what I can do is I can start with 5d10 times 100 credits. So uh, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy my own equipment. I think that would be more fun and um, more suited for this character. So let's just uh, let's roll up and see how much we got. Um, this is a 5, 15, and that's a 9. So 15, that's 24. So we have 2,400 credits to use to spend on things. So let's just take a look at what we've got. Um, we will definitely need uh, electronic tool set, which is, all right, let me write down how much I have first off. All right. The electronic tool set um, is for repairing electronics. Mm, that that could, could come in handy. Um, cybernetic diagnostic scanner is to scan androids and other cybernetic or organisms in order, to, in order to diagnose any physical or mental issues they may be having. Could be useful. Um, I'm looking more for computer-based stuff, though. Um, is there a hacking thing in here? Uh, da, da, da. We don't need any meals ready to eat. We are a Android, and we need to charge instead of that. Uh, let's go with standard battle dress just to be protected. So. Um, battle dress and what that does it adds a plus 10 bonus to the wearer's armor save so we'd be going up to 35 so we'll just do 10 to armor save all right cool and that costs seven fifty. All right, so that would be five zero. I'm doing math real quick here. Twenty four minus seven fifty. That would be eight plus fifty. Uh, eight hundred subtracted. So that would be six. Right. Right. I oh, know six. And then that would be one. All right. 
So we have that. Let's go with uh, lockpick set, which is only how much? Is this consumed when used? Let me double check that. All right. It doesn't say it is consumed. So lock pick set. Cool. And that is a plus 10 to opening hacking doors. All right. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah. A lot of these are for humans. Um, let's do a body cam. So that would be five six zero, and that would be body cam. And I'm not gonna describe it right there because it's pretty obvious what it is. Um, let's look at weapons real quick. Um, oh, the weapons are in the beginning of the book. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Um, let's just go with an SMG. Yeah, SMG, that's a thousand two hundred. So that cuts us down to three sixty. Um, and we'll go here. SMG. We'll put the stats. Two D ten or four D ten. Four D ten. DMG, and then uh, yeah, we won't put down everything down here. We don't have military training, so it doesn't make much sense. Um. And if we need to look up anything in particular, we can just look it up in the book, like what the ranges are and whatnot. I, I'm not gonna get too crazy about that. Just because uh, SMGs are, are pretty straightforward weapons. All right, let's see. We wanna get some ammunition. I don't know how much ammunition runs on this. Ammo. Oh, there's the cost. All right. Um, cost is fifty. Um. So let's go with. Um. Let's go with five ammo. Five ammo. All right. There we go. So that would take us down by 250. So that would leave us uh, with 110, right? Um, all right, so we have an SMG just for protection. And let's see, what can we get for under 100? Oh, well, let's do a flashlight, that would be useful. Flashlight, that costs 10 credits. We have 100 credits left. Short range comms. Oops. Short range comms. 
and that would be with 30, so we have 70 left. You know what? I'm just going to call it good here. And then we will put down here 70. We have 70 credits left for our random things. All right. So now we need to roll on the random trinket and the random patch. Now this is going to be interesting um, and I reserve the right to change the outcomes just because this game is a little adult oriented and um, although this isn't a kid directed video, um, it, I like to keep my stuff relatively family friendly. So let's just uh, go with here. So. What you do on these tables is you roll a D100, which is a D10 with just numbers on it, and then, oh, like, just single numbers on it, and then a D10 with increments of uh, tens. So let's roll on here and see what we've got. All right, 27 for a trinket. Ivory dice. Nice. Okay, so we'll go ivory dice. All right. And then we'll go with patch, A T C H, and we'll go this. And let's roll the D100 again, see what we get on the list. That's 43. All right, so this is what I'm gonna have to edit. Um, but we'll go drink, fight, repeat. There we go. Which is ironic because it's a Android. Nice. All right, so I think we're done. Um, at least we would be if we were just going to be playing a game and we wanted to throw a character together real fast. If we wanted to go the fast route, we probably should have gone with one of the uh, the loadouts. But I wanted to uh, I wanted to buy my own stuff. But yeah, um, if I was going to be making this character ahead of time, like if my my uh, warden, the guy running the game, was like, hey, I need you to make a character up, give him a nice backstory, you know, make it fun, well, then I would go to this PDF. And I'm pretty sure this is uh, available at the same place you can get the, the, uh, the handbook PDF, uh, but it's free. So uh, basically, these are just some uh, some additional things that you can use in in the process of making a character. But also, there's um, the the Android Panic Table, and basically, what makes this different is um, when humans panic, they have all sorts of reactions that might not be as natural or logical for a Android to have. So they have their own panic table, and uh, yeah, the stuff on here is uh, pretty fun, um, as in not good at all. Uh, some of the stuff is good, but yeah, you we'll, we'll get to that when I'm explaining how to play the game, if I do a video like that. All right, but what we're here for right now is for the Who Made My Android and the Android Origins. All right, so... Um, this looks like uh, just a basic corporation name generator. Uh, so let's let's uh, let me see. There's one, two, three, four. All right. So we'll roll four d tens and see what we get. All right. The first one is one vivo. So we'll write that down. Vivo. Uh, and then the next one is nine. 
So suffix would be metri or phone. Um, vivo metri. Vivo metri four. Igonial. And then six, which would be consortium. And what's nice is with um, with this, you could use this if you're world building just to come up with a uh, a corporation that is a big part of your galaxy or your world or whatever you're doing. It doesn't just have to be for like who made this android. It could be like what what does this space station, who owns this space station? It, it could be as simple as that. So um, yeah, very good chart. Now next up we're going to uh, see what kind of uh, uh, Android this is and they have some pretty creepy uh, Versions of where androids come from so I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to uh, Roll um, Roll a d10 and see what we get Six and I think we can roll the traits separately too All right, so six and one so six is a simulated humanoid, which is about as boring as you can get um, as far as like what an android is. Um, simulated humanoid. Um, yeah, we'll move this a little later. And um, one, firmware installed, partial memories, possibly wanted. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think these traits are actually written for what's next. Um, or like, not next, but are, are, are lined up with the origins, but um, usually they have it so you can, like in this, in this thing, you can typically roll for one of each column, so I'm not worried about that. So um, we'll go firmware installed, partial memory is possibly wanted. So basically, um, firmware installed, um, partial memories. Criminal? Question mark. Alright. Alright. So basically the storyline behind this this um, simulated humanoid is that uh, they, they have a bit of a memory that seems to imply that it possibly could have been based off of someone who is a criminal in the past uh, because uh, with um, with the advent of of uh, programming personalities, uh, basically, uh, I forget what the term is called in the Halo Halo world, but um, basically, it does like a flash copy of a person uh, person's psyche, and that's how they make AI. So maybe. As a strange experiment from the Vivometri Agonial Consortium, maybe they did some uh, some unethical practices on captives and uh, prisoners and convicts. Maybe they they did a little bit of flash cloning of of uh, psyches, and that's why this this android has those memories. Um, and uh, within with role playing, those those things might come out. 
So yeah, yeah, androids. Very fun to build. I enjoy I enjoy making characters in this game regardless. Uh, let's see, what should we name this character? Um, I like naming the characters after like like famous authors from the past. Um, how about Stowe? That sounds, that sounds good. Based off of Harriet Beecher. Um, and this will be, um, let's, let's say a computer analyst. Yeah, I figured that would be too big. Title, uh, comp, A-N-Y-L. Nope. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is where drawing with a pencil might be easier. Um, and a list. There we go. And we can pick up from from that what what this character is. Uh, it'll be a her. And yes, we are we are good. I like this. I like this character a lot. Maybe I'll play with this character sometime. I don't know. But until then, this is Hogwash over and out. I'll catch you later.